and um, Ruth. Who was Ruth? Let's go back uh, and remember uh, what's happened with Lot when he ended up with uh, two daughters in cave and uh, they decide that uh, there is no man around and uh, we see incest and we see uh, the two women uh, conceiving uh, from their father and we see mob Moabite nation and this is what the, from uh, that nation Ruth came. Moabites were not allowed up to 10th generation even to come close to the temple. But uh, she became in the lineage of our Messiah. She became grandmother of David, the king. And then we see Solomon and Bathsheba. But uh, Bathsheba is here. She is the one who committed adul uh, adultery. And, uh, but she's still here because God's mercy. And this is a legal line. The bloodline, God uh, had to wait and bring that through the line of Nathan, uh, through the another son of uh, David, Nathan. Uh, and um, then we see Mary. How about Mary, the mother of Jesus? Uh, be, uh, in that time, she, uh, when she became a, uh, and said, uh, your will be done. She knew what she might encounter she be to be stoned. But she was a brave, courageous, young virgin girl, unmarried. And she said, let it be unto me as per your, uh, let your will to be done. That uh, we should see that uh, our, our God is God who decide, uh, who wants mercy. And uh, everybody who will call on his name, this mercy is still available. This mercy and grace is still available to everybody who will call on his name. And I pray that you will pray this prayer today and cry to him and ask to him to come into your heart, make you a new person, uh, for, uh, and he will forgive your sins. And he will make you a new creature. In the name of Yeshua, I pray. This is the greatest holiday present you can do for yourself.